Oh, we're looking ahead to some better weather tonight. The storm threat is going to go down. They'll be weaker and really there's very little left out there, but more storms are coming for Tuesday round two, but then that should be just about it for our significant severe threats for this week. It gets much calmer toward Wednesday and the weekend, which just happens to be Mother's Day and some good stuff on the way for that, but not such good stuff today as we had a tornado reported in Greenwood and also one that's not showing up, but it was reported in Elbert County uh, where they they had a tornado that was basically confirmed um, on the radar and the damage that correlated to that uh, was really quite intense. Heavy rain just to the south of our area. You can see quite a few lightning strikes, but just light rain for you around Newberry and Greenwood. Temperatures in the 60s. It feels nice and muggy outside. And as for our severe weather threat tomorrow, we're at a level two, which is a slight risk for severe weather. That's the same risk we were under today. So once again, we're looking at a threat for stronger storms to move through. So here's a look at future cast. Notice that as we go through tonight, it's nice and quiet. Tuesday morning brings some showers, mainly up near the mountains, and then those are going to move through and intensify through the day as a cold front pushes in. So 3 p.m. tomorrow, more storms in some of the same locations, but we will begin to see improvement as we get into the day on Tuesday and then Wednesday doesn't look too bad. So as we go into tonight, temperatures a little mild, Bob. Yeah, hey, you know, it's going to be kind of a, you know, late spring, summer kind of a feel out there tonight. And the storm threat gets lower, but it's going to be muggy, kind of sultry, a low around 66 degrees. And for the mountains, you're low of only 61 as we do get a break from the rain. And as far as rainfall totals for today, since midnight, 1.8 inches in Asheville. So this is great to see that we get this much needed rain. We lower the fire danger and it knocks down some of the pollen as well. Over an inch in Greenwood, 60 62 hundreds in Franklin, 1.17 into Rutherfordton. And as we go through time, we're going to see another round of showers and storms as we go into Tuesday. So it's possible we could pick up another, say, quarter to an inch of rain as we go into that time period. Here's your seven day forecast for your Tuesday a 90% chance of showers and storms, a high of 79. Then on Wednesday, we'll see a cold front sliding through. So hopefully, just morning activity there. 80 degrees and then we're in the clear after that look at that refreshing temperatures in the low 70s Thursday Friday and then we're looking at lows into the upper 40s Friday and Saturday morning so a nice taste of back to spring and and then Mother's Day looking at 82 so let's hope we keep it dry for mom and for the mountains 70s stormy for you through Wednesday and then cooler 60s and 70s and your lows downright chilly middle 40s Thursday Friday and a Saturday now time for the most Moe's Monday Sky Meter, and that is sponsored by Moe's Southwest Grill. And as we go into tomorrow, just like today, we gave it a six because we are looking at the potential for severe weather once again, and maybe just a little bit of sunshine. And make sure you download the Fox Carolina app. It's easy to do so. Now is the time to do that because we have so much weather going on. Our by hour forecast, interactive radar on there, so it's great. Great to have it right there. Make sure it's turned up during severe weather. You can download it on the App Store, get it on Google Play as well.